Yo, hello guys. So season two of eFootball 2023 is out, the football festival. Uh, this video is going to be quite long because I want to go through all the new things in this game. And now uh, for season two. Uh, season two is now underway. The theme for this season is the football festival. Okay, so skip this, skip this. Uh, season duration uh, will last until 12th of January 2023. New epic player, Steven Gerrard. Man, this game. <laughs> so annoying, man. Uh, the Phase 4 uh, for the Division Series. Uh, phase 4. I played some during the first week, so it's still a version 2.1. Oh man, it's, it's annoying, man. That's, you have to check them out, the Phase 4 Series. It's a short one. It made me want to stop playing. I shouldn't have played it. I shouldn't have played it. I should have waited for version 2.2. Version 2.2 feels like an early, uh, earlier version, the early bid, uh, early build of eFootball. It feels like eFootball instead of past 21. Uh, version 2.1, in my opinion, it feels more past like. Uh, version 2.2 kind of feels like eFootball. So, yeah, I want to give this game another chance. <laughs> Man, I really, really thought I want to stop playing. I want to stop uploading <laughs> videos. But I don't know, man. They pulled me back in with Gerard. And of course, we also have Torres now in the epic spins. My favorite player. <laughs> oh, man. Why did they have to do this to me? Uh... But it's too tough. not my favorite player, but it's okay. And other players, not sure who will they will be. Uh, on top of that, epic players who put in unforgettable performances in specific matches will have their historical outings celebrated as big time. Stoshkovic, Beckham, Maradona will be introduced as big time players. Sandy's football, yeah. It's okay, I already have Beckham, Maradona. Well, it depends. Because Maradona is actually a dribbler, you have to dribble with him. But this version 2.2 kind of feels like you can dribble because the initiating uh, is there a little bit more compared to version 2.1. I think it backs to like maybe 30%. Yeah, so there, there's some, even though it's not much, but it's there. So it's pos I think it's possible to dribble a little bit more in this version. So, yeah, we have to see. Uh, sign highlight players using nominated contract. Um, yeah, we'll see the players that we have. Introducing match pass. Okay, I will go further in this match pass. Whether it's worth it to go for it or not. From my opinion. Alright, let's go to the details here. But before we go there, let's take a quick look at the update file here. I want to go through the gameplay change log uh the other things here okay gameplay fixes and adjustment dribbling implemented enhancement to the response when switching between a normal dribble and a dash dribble uh, i think i played a couple of matches but i think the analog analog sprint is it uh it's back i think uh in version 2.1 uh i i switch back to r1 uh, the sprint actually i switch it back in version 2 because uh, it's gone actually. Uh, using the left stick is similar using the half press the R2. So, but in this version 2.2, I think it's back. So I switch back to R R2, the sprint. You can half press the dash again, the sprint button again. Uh, implement the adjustment so that when switching between a normal dribble and dash dribble, the direction of inputs will now be reflected in a more correct manner. Okay. Uh, reduce application of inertia for small angle turns during a dash dribble. Okay. Uh, implemented uh, adjustment so that one dribbling pass an opponent, it is now less likely for the player to make contact and trip over. All right. <laughs> so this happened a lot in the previous version and there's no file for it. So... So it's, I think it's good for dribbling. Uh, fix the issue where ball touches cannot be performed smoothly when doing a sharp touch. Hmm. Okay. 
it's good double touch uh sharp touch is uh something that uh we need to see more actually in the game i don't see much players using sharp touch but there's some uh but not much uh implemented adjustment so that when performing a kick command right after attempting a large angleton in dribble uh, the kick can now be performed more easily um yeah i think i think this is useful because uh the opponents is uh, quite quick very reactive so a bit hard for you to release the pass uh when you turn around fix the issue where stunning passes are difficult to trigger in dribble when a position players are near and uh, the adjustment so that when performing sombrero straight after a flick it is no, now less likely for the ball to hit the player's body okay uh, detail 2.3 passing increase the overall speed of low passes i actually doesn't notice it that much kind of feels the same uh, implement the adjustment for low passes so that the cursor will now switch to a more suitable teammate okay uh, i haven't noticed it yet but if it's uh like they, they said it's good because cursor switching is annoying man uh, implemented adjustment so that a more suitable kicking motion will be triggered when attempting a pass near opposition players okay the implemented adjustment for true passes so that passes will now be played towards a position that is easier for the teammate to receive yeah this is one of the main problem in the previous uh, version 2.1 the thing is uh true passes is a bit further ahead of the player so usually they will just leave the ball away especially when you use uh, pa3 it's quite annoying uh, I mean, PA3 is supposed to have like uh, some degree of freedom, right? But uh, if you play PA3 against PA1 and PA2, you do not have uh, the advantage of that freedom because of this issue. Uh, fix the issue regarding loose ball situations where kicks and passes cannot be performed even the player is first to the ball. Okay, good. Implement the adjustment so that when playing low passes with manual pass level set to 3, the passing speed is now completely dependent on the power gauge input with no further assistance added. Okay, but yeah, we'll have to try it. The thing is, uh, to get the balance right, it's hard for pass uh, assist 3. If you play against a similar uh, level, it's okay. But if you play against PA1 and PA2, you are at a disadvantage. Because you need to uh, charge up the power gauge, right? So it takes a bit longer for you to pass the ball compared to the PA1 or PA2. A shooting implemented enhancement to player with a player skill dipping shot or rising shot. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You you can't see a rising shot that much in the previous version. So hopefully it'll be sorted out in this one implemented adjustment so that when attempting a shot uh, with the ball in mid-air both a normal shot and a stunning shot attempt will now uh, trigger a dipping trajectory okay i think this was complained a lot by uh is that guy the youtuber uh tarax a uh, night md yeah uh, <laughs> the main man uh night md Implement an enhancement to the accuracy of first-time shots of uh, low passes from diagonally behind. Implement enhancement of the accuracy first-time shot of low passes. Um, from the couple matches I played, I didn't see that much improvement. But oh, hopefully, man, I, I keep missing first-time shots <laughs> when doing cutback. Oh, man. Love of uh, miss uh, chances. In the previous version i implemented adjustment so that when attempting a shot against an empty goal the shot on target round uh, rate is now higher okay this is this is a good this is a good thing man uh, i miss a lot of empty goals man oh my god uh defense uh, implemented adjustment so that the cursor will switch to a more appropriate player in defensive situation yeah this this obviously they need to keep improving this because this change during defense is horrendous. Uh, implemented adjustments so that the cursor will switch to a more appropriate player when defending on coming mid-air ball, such as lofted passes and clearance. Yeah, the thing is, uh, defenders are not, uh, you know, like, they do not snap to the ball when the uh, lofted pass come in. So hopefully it will be improved so that it's easier for us to clear the ball away. 
because uh, dealing with crossing is quite annoying, especially since uh, all all people actually have Harlan from that uh, five star nominating contract, right? So new player, you miss out on Harlan. <laughs> Those who have Harlan uh, really can score from ahead there. Uh, face the issue where directional inputs are not terribly affected during a matchup in defensive situation. Okay. Um, fix the issue where players who perform man marking during corner kick may not uh, deal with the oncoming ball in an adequate manner. Okay. Uh, fix the issue where defending uh, players may unnaturally move away from the goal right after the corner kick is taken. Okay. Goalkeeper implemented adjustments so that in the case of penalty kicks, it is now easier for goalkeepers to save PC shots or shots towards the edge of the goal and parry them away from the goal. Uh, I usually use a uh, full power gauge and it usually goes inside if the, the goalkeeper uh, managed uh, to guess right. So we have to see. I haven't uh, got a penalty yet. So we have to see if it still works or not. Uh, other gameplay enhancement implemented adjustments so that the player who makes the run in a one to pass will no longer decelerate unnecessarily. Uh, implemented adjustments so that teammates who make forward runs will now take the offside line and the ball holder body position into account and adequately decide to decelerate or stay put. Okay. Uh, implemented adjustment to the positioning of players for the team play style out wide so that teammate will not move too far forward and run a greater risk against counter attack. Uh, okay, out wide. Yeah, out wide is, is tough to play with uh, because uh, the wingers stay wide, right? And then if you lose the ball, you do not have players in the middle. So usually when the counter attack is done through the middle, it's very tough to defend. So hopefully this will sort that out with the winger staying a little bit behind. But yeah, it's, it, I think it'll be tough to take advantage to cut inside if the wingers stay behind. Maybe this will be more about crossing the ball. Uh, implement the adjustment to the positioning of players so that players placed in the middle of the park in the game plan will be less likely to venture into a wide position. On the same note, players placed on the flanks will be more likely to stay in a wide position. Okay. Mm, I don't know if whether this uh, will affect both uh, the offensive phase and or just the defensive phase only. Uh, fix the issue where players uh, pointed with a deep line role on the individual in individual instruction in game plan would wrongly swap positions when defending. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I see some of this actually. Uh, implemented adjustments so that it is now easier for teammates in the midfield to position themselves in an open space. Um, for teammates in the midfield to position themselves in an open space. Uh, I don't know what that means. Implemented adjustments so that fullbacks will not attempt to uh, overlap and runs in an adequate frequency in line with the configured uh, team play style, as well as their positioning when they are on the opposite side of the ball okay this this is a good thing actually because uh if you use like a cross specialist usually they stay a little bit uh behind uh, they won't make that much of a run so hopefully this uh, will make uh trent alexander arnold useful all right usable with the overlapping runs because he likes to stay behind uh one thing is that i noticed is that uh, the opposite side of the ball they stand uh a little bit behind uh, they run uh, a little bit uh, later on. So kind of like a defensive fullback. So I think well, we have to see whether it's a good thing or not. But uh, more overlapping runs is surely good for the cross specialist. You know, you have a lot of cross specialists playing at uh, fullback now. Uh, like Taliafico um, and Trent. Uh, fix the issue where shoulder charge from a seemingly uh, illegal angle such as diagonally behind are not called as foul bet. Yeah, from the, the couple of matches that I played, uh, I've seen uh, a lot of fouls now from uh, behind uh, the shoulder charges. And I noticed that um, uh, 
the AI is not doing uh, much shoulder charges from behind now. So hopefully this will give us some some space, some time to dribble around a little bit because it's tough to dribble, man. When you just if when you get past a defender, right? When you get past a defender, they can just come from behind and shoulder charge you. So it's annoying <laughs> because you already have to go against another player in front of you but then another one coming just to shoulder charge you so it's so tough to dribble i mean if it come from the sides okay it's fair but from behind it's annoying man uh okay wait where is it where is it uh fix the issue regarding throw-ins where teammates on the other side of the pitch may go across the pitch i haven't seen that much actually so yeah it's okay yeah, it's a bug fix implement the adjustment so that the player will adequately dodge away from teammates and their yeah, uh, oncoming shot so this is a good uh, update here because there's a couple of time where my players uh, <laughs> defend for the opponent uh, staying in front of the goal instead of just leaving the ball by the oncoming shot uh, implement the adjustment to the behavior of teammates when the cursor is switched to the goalkeeper <laughs> we will see we will see we will see what uh, what will happen when we switch to the goalkeeper you know right uh during the previous uh, phase three um the earlier division where i switched to the goalkeeper so playing quick counter the teammates pressing is crazy <laughs> all right i don't have to defend because uh they are very aggressive so yeah hopefully hopefully they will reduce it a little bit i mean obviously you still want the the ai to move the player a little bit because it'll be annoying if the ball is in front of the your teammate right and he's just just ball watching you do not want that too so there's there's need a, a balance you can't uh, be aggressive in terms of pressing but i think uh small small things like when the player comes toward him he needs to stick out his leg or he needs to get the ball but if there's some space between them you can't expect them to just to just press it's <laughs> it's too much man it's just the game playing for you instead of uh, you playing the game so hopefully it'll be solved out there's some bal uh, hopefully they will find a balance there uh, general fixes uh, yeah we're not going to go through this uh, global improvement yeah I'm going to go through this just the gameplay update i will do one match after this maybe in the separate video but i just want to go through the new stuff okay so the first thing is the authentic team uh, we have this event a lot of gps to be won uh not much requirement to get them uh, from the first challenge you need uh, five points from three matches then you just need to win what just one time for each the challenges you have four challenges to win with uh five it's called the wind one win all right so 120 160 20 240 240 380 so a lot of gp man i think almost one million there so i think this uh season two is more about uh attracting newcomers i think or maybe to those players who want to start a new account and then we have a new thing that's called debut mission all right so this debut mission i already finished up all the what's it called the mission here welcome create user id then the control you have to go to training all the players so this is for newcomers basically uh just have to receive them here yeah. why well, can't receive uh like receive all all right so i have to use the standard play ticket so this is basically uh, basically i think the ticket here all right let's go let's go to the tickets so in the contract here we have a new one standard player ticket that we got from the debut mission there all right so let's try to go for one player three star use tickets 100 percent probability uh when signing a standard player you have one percent chance for a foil version foil card 
So yeah, let's try it just to use one here. All right, skip it. Oh, there's that guy. It's just a three-star player, Fernando Pacheco. All right. Uh, there's there's a, what's called a timeline here. It will end in uh, 30 days. So make sure if you do not want to use your tickets yet, want to save up your tickets, you can do that. Do not claim it yet. All right. And there's like 99, 999 capacity there. So yeah, you might not want to uh, claim your tickets yet from this mission here. Just let them be in this. Uh, yeah, for newcomers, 30 training program here, 30k EXP. So like here, uh, just claim it. Okay, it's okay. We'll see what 5 star can I get. Uh, then we have this debut mission too. If you finish all the the debut debut mission one, what did I see? Just say it's debut mission, right? Uh, if you finish up the debut mission one, uh, the debut mission two will be unlocked. So there's a 50 GP here. Play to event, score three goals. We have another 30k GP, uh, 30k uh, trainer EXP here, 30k and 50 kgp okay login for two days so tomorrow can get another 100 coins level up your player so this is basically for newcomers uh player stats uh new manager here claudio solchak hmm be nice you have a new manager uh change your manager play five match oh they this quite uh generous here with the coins for newcomers okay get another five star here tickets you can save it up later but let's see who i can get oh man oh man additional <laughs> additional maintenance wow but it's tomorrow i thought it's i thought it's now when i'm making a video <laughs> i thought it's now but today is 17 so it's tomorrow no worries all right let's see the standard play ticket who i can get five star 100 percent probability available player let's see a lot of good players obviously 45 players only 45 five star man i have a lot of them already i've seen already have sancho or they have uh let's just let's see let's see let's see let's see who i can get hopefully someone fun and to try him out uh, okay okay which league english league oh 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 city mares grillish okay i do not have him yet okay nice i like grillish in past 21 not bad uh double touch cut behind turn one touch pass weighted pass so if only he have a, like, uh, what's it called? Pinpoint crossing. Be nice to have. Not bad. Okay, so a guaranteed five star. Obviously for newcomers, actually. Or if you want to create a new uh, account. Uh, another new thing is the, what's it called? The match pass. All right, the match pass. Right, before we go to that match pass, I want to just show the eFootball e football shops. They have Collar and Khan. So, yeah, get Collar, man. It's fun to play with, even though he's... He doesn't want to hit the ball. He doesn't want to jump. <laughs> but it's good to have a tall player in your team. Uh, but Khan, man. Khan definitely, you want to get him. Even though it's not an epic card. So the play style proficiency is not 90. It's okay, man. He's a decent card to have. Uh... Obviously, it's B, B rated, the form, right? So, if you're a new player, obviously, you want to get him. Uh, yeah, get him. I'll get him too after this. I do not have a legend goalkeeper yet. Okay. Football pass. Match pass. Where is it? Where's the thingy? Here. From the mission here. Match pass. 
All right. So in this match pass, we have three tiers, regular, value, and premium. Okay, so this is based on the matches. It's not days. So like uh, usually in the typical match pass, uh, different game usually is daily. But this is based on matches. So for regular and value, you need to play 50 games to receive all the rewards. For premium, if you want to get all the rewards, you have to play uh, 100 matches. But the thing is, there's not not every matches so you will get the reward. So, <laughs> yeah, not sure you want to get the premium or not. Uh, after the 50, after the 50th uh, matches, you will on, only get the, what's it called, the trainers? exp and some coins okay so take that in mind <laughs> when you go for the premium one and you also get a one contract renewal so i'm not sure whether this premium is worth it or not okay just for this extra uh, exp and coins and apparently uh, this thing will last until uh 15th of December so one month so you need to play the games in one month so if you can play 100 matches in one month which is about three matches per day at least so that's 90 right so a couple more uh, so you can go for it if you can't play 100 matches can't play three matches a day I would strongly advise against it but it's up to you because uh, you can still play 50 matches, right? To get the, the rewards for the 50, uh, 50 matches. All right. So one thing that I want to say here is, yeah, it, uh, the if it's forfeited match, a disconnected match, voided match, it doesn't count. And the uh, quick match, friend match, trial match, training, it doesn't count too. So you need to play uh, against uh, users or AI all right for it to count so if you like to play friend match this might not be a good uh pass for you too not a good system for you uh, unlocking match pass uh, you have to use coins uh the what's well, got the value one is 250 the premium one is 500 so here he said on the first notes there value match pass and premium match pass are separate products i'm not sure but i think you have to spend uh, 250 for value, 500 for premium. It's not you spend 500 for, for premium, you get the value. I think it's different. You have to spend 750 if you want both. All right. And uh, it will expire uh, because it has like a time period there, one month until December, 15 December. So if you do not get all the rewards there, it's, it's over, it's expired. So make sure you can play that 50 matches, that 100 matches. All right. And yeah, nothing. I think there's nothing much here. So the thing is here. Just want to say that the main difference here, the EXP that you will get, you will get in the premium one, uh, premium one is 10K instead of 4K. The value one is 4K. Uh, the premium one is 10K. So if you see, Let's go back here a bit, one more. Where is it? Where is it? I think you have to go here. Match pass, match pass. The banner here. Uh, where is the thingy? Okay. Introducing match pass. Okay. I don't know why they just put this in the same <laughs> note. Uh, so for regular match pass, you will get 100k XP, uh, two 3 star contract, one four star contract one five star contract and one renewal uh 60 days contract um value one you'll get uh, one player gareth bale and uh 128 uh exp train trainer the nominating contract same all right same numbers for premium you will get extra contract double actually so it's four instead of two three star, uh, two four star instead of one, two five star instead of two. 
Uh, the play that you'll get is Dusantadic, which is decent. Uh, 300k XP, yeah, about, about double. But the thing is the coins that you will get. So basically for value uh, pass, you will get 200 coins back. So that means you will only spend like 50 coins, right? Because it's 250 coins for value. So you'll get back 200 if you play all, uh, all 50 matches. So you will only be spending 50 coins. I think this, this is a very good, very va value <laughs> uh, for uh, the coins because you will get 50 coins per week, I think, if you log in every day. So yeah, might as well go for it, man. I think value is, is good uh, to go for. I mean, Gareth Bale, I think if you like Bale, I think this is the... <laughs> The time to get him because the standard card is not good. I think this card is quite okay. The highlight player card. This uh, Antadish. Yeah, if you can play 100 matches, so if you like a more hardcore, I think premium is not bad. You're getting back 300 coins, so that's like on spending only 200 coins. That's that's not much, I guess, for a hardcore player. But for more casual, I think value is it's value for money. I mean, 50 coins is absolutely free in this game. So just go for it. All right. So yeah, I'll, I'll be going for it. So I think even though we've already played uh, this uh, matches here, if we unlock it later, uh, we can get them. We do not have to play it again. So basically, uh, let's say if you already play 50 matches, right? Uh, I don't think you have to play 50 more matches if you decided to buy the value pack later. So let's see. Uh, I will, I will uh, unlock the value match pass 250. We got uh, 300 coins from Konami because of that. What's it called? Uh, apology. <laughs> Basically, apology from Konami. So yeah, 300 coins. So yeah, we'll go for it. 250 uh 50 percent off on first purchase what does it that mean this discounted price is as shown ah okay so that means second purchase is <laughs> is 500 actually hmm that's uh that's not good okay i thought if it's 250 it's worth it but it's 500 you're getting back 200 so you have to spend 300 hmm, maybe <laughs> i don't know but since it's 50 percent off let's go for it i want that bail okay can be a time yep man it's already half an hour yeah but it's going to be a long video <laughs> i'll try to cover all of the things you will see according to your current progress yeah as i thought all right so you do not have to play them again you will get uh the rewards already so let's say if you're already here you already play 40 match and you decide yeah maybe i go for it i have 50 uh, i have 250 coins to spend so you can just go uh unlock it buy it and get the reward straight away for 40 match all right we got the legend here gareth bale uh not a bad player okay 90 team uh, play style proficiency 32 levels and looking at the uh, what's called the card there 93 if fully upgraded so not bad not bad so yeah um all right that is it for match pass uh the next up is packs okay so you can go to the contract here we have the packs here and the special player list okay we go through the packs first uh the packs we have four new packs, all right? I haven't bought <laughs> any of this. Okay. Uh, we go one by one. Uh, it's 1.5k. So, man, they, they really... <laughs> they really want you to spend, man. Uh, 
In each pack, you have 11 players. So that means 100 coins each. Not bad. Uh, but for this, uh, each pack have, has one, uh, what is it called? Epic card. Okay. This epic card is probably, what is it? Is it uh, 400 coins? Yeah, 400 coins because it's 1.5k, right? So I think it's worth it. <laughs> If you like the player, uh, this Benzema is definitely. If I would go for one of the one of these packs, I would go for France, because I don't think there will be a time where you will get a legend card Benzema, where his form is on a B form always. Uh, yeah, this is basically the Ballon d'Or card. Uh, 10 of October 2021, Karim Benzema. Yeah, Benzema is definitely a good player. So, fun player to have in your team, unwavering. You can pass the ball. Uh, you can head. Uh, you can see there he has true pass, he has heading. Yeah, if you do not have Benzema yet, uh, definitely a good time to have him. Uh, one thing is no Mbappe in this. <laughs> <laughs> no Mbappe. That's it. Yeah. But France is solid, man. I already have a lot of players though from this, so I probably won't go for it. I already have uh, Benzema, Giroud, Varane already have, Germany already have, Kunde already have, Griezmann already have. Yeah. But that's solid. Kunde, I haven't seen any much uh, mistakes from him, so good to have him. I have a, a play of the week, Griezmann. Good to have uh, with dribbling, but this one is a whole card player, so and he has super sub. So, good card to have, Griezmann. Uh, the POTW one is uh, deep lying forward. I think it's better. Griezmann is better as a whole player. Kunku, a really good dribbler, creative playmaker there. Uh, double touch, one touch pass through passing, so good AMF to have. So, definitely. Yeah, we'll see. I think it, people will go for France. But it depends, man. This is a very... Uh, what's it called? Very rare card, Benzema. Because uh, they already released the... What's it called? The legend card for Messi and Neymar. So this is epic card, basically, for Messi and Neymar. It's epic cards. Uh, I mean, Messi is Messi. I already have him, the legend card. Not sure, man. 1.5k. The other player is decent too to have. The Paul Lautaro. Definitely good. Dybala. Still inconsistent. It's good to have. Uh, Di Maria. I already have a lot of them though. If only they have McAllister in this. <laughs> in this pack, I would go for it actually. If they switch. Maybe Paredes for McAllister or Dybala for McAllister. I don't think Dybala should be in this because uh, Messi should play right. Lautaro CF, Maria in the middle. This one is more like Messi is uh, AMF Dybala. I think it's more of a four. No, Dybala maybe play right. Yeah. 4 3 3, Dybala on the right. Di Maria on left. Man, should have been uh, McAllister. Be more fun to have him. Uh, decent team. Brazil. Uh, Neymar. Neymar is Neymar. If you haven't have him already. But this is standard form. But rating uh, form is B. So yeah. Good time to have him too. I, pro I probably will go for him. Because I'm a fan of Neymar. <laughs> I really like him. Uh, the other players is also solid. Danilo, as you know. Are always in my team already. I have already have the play of the week card. Addison. Uh, I did not have uh, Marquinhos yet. So good to have him. Uh, Bruno, already have him. Decent player. Fabinho, already have him. Good to have too. The others, I do not have him, them yet. So... I think this is better in terms of value for me. But yeah. It's I think it's worth it. 
1.5k yeah just save up a little bit japan yeah i think this is quite niche if you're a fan of them yeah but this card definitely looks awesome man really make nice card here junya ito epic cards nice to have a super sub pinpoint crossing uh a good winger to have in my opinion uh crossing winger pinpoint crossing a uh, double touch cut behind turn through pass super sub yeah quite nice to have him i mean minamino is good too whole player mitoma playing quite well but yeah i wouldn't suggest <laughs> but if you want can go for it very nice looking card but france probably will be the best but here this if you want to go go for buy-in man just 900 a lot of value here a lot of good players i haven't gone for them yet probably won't all right then the special player a lot of things to go for okay mbappe in this one <laughs> so yeah we'll see if we get mbappe or not here the gold poacher you can level him up wow okay that is nice all right 90 play style so good to have him uh rabio pavat and the other so this is a good uh what is it called let's see uh it's a good supplement if you buy the france pack i mean uh, the events that we need to play that we can play not need that we can play is the what is it called the national teams event so you need to use uh, teams national team full national team <laughs> oh man what is this luck i already have him now oh man i already have the play of the week mbappe uh this lock him mbappe uh Oh, we can only get one. Oh my god, I didn't I didn't look. I thought there's three spins. I didn't look at the others. Whether they are good too or not. It's okay. Alright. Uh before okay, before we spin for this, let's just go for the J League Award. Just uh this J League Award they can be upgraded to 90 here, you see. Uh, I think you can spin for all of them. It's not limited to three so but <laughs> i'm not sure whether they're worth it or not maybe if you're a fan yeah naga is not that bad a lot of uh, uh play skills here but only thing is a bit slow good play skills i think mizu no not mizunoma i think there's one player that i like when i saw it uh no, not Wakizaka. Hmm. Elber, nah, no. Maybe the other one. Alright, so, yeah. I, I won't suggest it. <laughs> if you want to go, go for it. I think there's an American League. Uh, the American League is actually... can spin for all of them too, I think. There's no limit. Uh, this Mukta is looking nice. Play skills, classic number 10. Uh, decent stats uh true pass outside curler weighted pass and yeah, not bad a bad card but i think where is it acosta i think acosta full player acceleration 90 balance 93 double touch marcel turn the kind of players uh that's good to be in the middle as amf double touch and marcel, play, uh, marcel turn cut behind turn one touch pass true passing what more do you want what more do you want man this card if you get him Try him out. And this is kind of a fun card actually. 160 cm. 59. So he's going to be short. Be small. Uh, be nice to dribble with him. Yeah, 93 balance. So, but I'm not sure whether I want to spin for this. I do not have the coins. I only have, uh, or only have uh, 
170 coins. Chikarito. Super sub Chikarito. Heading acrobatic finishing. A decent card to have too. But the color, man. So... It kind of feels a bit dark with the red. The play of the wig is green, so it's a bit bright. This one is quite dark. This is kind of nice too. Roaming flank, double touch, through passing. Acrobatic finishing, first time shot. I think there's one more. Is it Reynoso? Reynoso is not bad too. Double touch and mouse turn with a no look pass and through passing to be in the AMF there. Creative playmaker. I think there's one more guy. Is it Mihailovic? No, not Mihailovic. Arongo. Uh, decent too. No, there's one dude who has like a good kicking power. Is it Acosta already? No, I don't think. No. Tolkien. No. Maybe other pack. Maybe other pack. The all-time greats, yeah. Maybe the all-time greats. But yeah, American League here. You might want to go for this dude, Acosta here. The last player in the pack there. The all-time great is nominating contract. Uh, the nominating contract you can get from the match pass. Alright. Uh, Fajar here is decent. Marcelton, uh, true passing, weighted pass, orchestrator. Yeah, but, but I think it's more of a... But you can upgrade him. Need to upgrade his defensive a little bit. Uh, but in my opinion, this list is not that good, actually. The only thing... The only player worth getting is probably Papu. Papu is nice. The other is very niche. Yeah, no, not going for. So when you go for that premium match pass, consider this, whether the nominating contract is worth it or not getting these players. Not for me though. Not for me. Ah, this, the Turkish league. I think it's the Turkish league. Ah, this guy, Bakasetas. 92 kicking power. Finishing 81, whole player. Be nice to have him. I think I'll probably go for him. I have two uh, nominating contract four star. Uh, long range curler, long range shooting, dipping shot, knuckle shot. He's a shooter. First time shot, pinpoint crossing. Yeah, I think it'd be nice to have him in the team. Mertens is also nice, uh, but this one is a creative playmaker. So I think it will be better than the previous deep line forward card. And he has super sub. So... Good creative playmaker to have. Not many creative playmaker has super sub. So yeah, he's short, so be nice to dribble with him. Can the uh, like sub Messi or Neymar in the second half. Valencia is decent. It's more of a what's it called? Uh heading header kind of uh forward. A super sub too. Acrobatic finishing, heading. Uh, Belhanda is quite nice actually but the only thing is he's slow 69 speed but the other thing is good double touch must hit turn one touch pass through passing no loop pass finishing is decent curl 86 but uh, it's a bit slow Um, yeah I think that's it the guy that you want to go for is Pacasetas and maybe Mertens the other one, I can't recommend. So if you if you guys know uh, which card is good, please let uh, me know and the others know too. If you have uh, like uh, experience with them. This card is not that bad actually. Unwavering. Can play both sides. Left and right. Send it back to... Mm, does he have super sub? No. Alright, so let us know. I think there's one player, but I don't know. Alright, so for the player of the week. This one have a lot of decent players, so... If you go for this, uh, I think it's, it's quite okay. 
not not that bad. Maybe the only down slide here is this guy. The other one is not a loss if you go if you get them. Maybe Castile is not. <laughs> uh, my experience with Castile is not good, man. So you have decent stat, decent height, but somehow in the game he's making a lot of mistakes. For Manchester United fan, obviously this guy is the guy that you want. Super sub. Hmm, Kimmich though. Kimmich, one of the top card. But I think his epic cards, not epic cards, the uh, epic cards actually, the packs. The pack for Kimmich will come out maybe next week. So maybe you guys want to go for him. For that one. But yeah, we'll see. The free spin that we got. I don't think I'll spend the coins here because I don't have the coins. The only one that I want, I guess, from this is uh, Kimmich or Odegaard. I really want to try out Odegaard. Five stars. Oh, fucking Castile. Castile, we are reunited. <laughs> Blue eyed, white eyes dragon. Blue eyed, white dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> Blue eyes Castiles. Uh, man. Ah, Castiles. But it's okay. It's actually the first card I got for. Uh, what's it called? Play of the week. I still haven't got a goalkeeper for play of the week. So my play of the week team is now completed. Oh, man. I could have gotten any of this guy. Jacko, Tony. <laughs> I'll be happy with a Manchester United player, man. Carnacho. <laughs> the only two players that I don't want. Bukema and Castiles. Oh, the guard would be nice. Moisekin. Kimmich Cruz. Disappointing. Disappointing. It's okay. Uh, Japan. Uh, for Japan. Nakata. Decent, but this one have uh, the playstyle proficiency. I already have him. Mm, yeah, a decent card. A decent card. Uh, Nakamura is good too. A uh, no look pass, uh, low loft pass, pinpoint crossing, weighted pass, true passing. It's a it's a passer orchestrator. But yeah, I won't I won't go for them. I don't have money. If I have money, I will I will go for them. But I won't. But I won't. This this is the one that I want. The thing is, I want Liverpool Torres. They said uh, Gerard would come out, right? But I'm not sure whether that Gerard is uh, Liverpool or England pack. If it's a Liverpool pack, I think Torres will come out in that pack too. But if it's England, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I need. To. <laughs> I want Torres, man. My favorite player, strike back, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, rising shot, heading, double touch, Marcel Tin. Oh man, 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 and wavering. I don't have coins, I have to top up the coins. I mean, getting uh, Xabi Alonso would be nice too. It's a Liverpool player too. Ah, uh, wavering. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Doris! Come on! One epic card. I haven't got a epic card in the first spin. Nah, it's not. It's a three star. It's a three star, man. Draxler? Draxler is playing for Benfica now. I didn't know that. This is a decent card actually. Whole player Draxler. Double touch, Marcy turn. One touch pass. Pinpoint crossing. Decent card. Lock him. Uh, we have 100 coins. <laughs> Torres. Torres, come on. Zerbi Alonso. Torres. Surveillance of Torres. 
Nah. It won't it won't show a league if it's a epic card. Lorende. Nah, nah. Nah. Uh let's see let's see if the No, it's not it's not a uh, mainly a Sp Spanish player. Still there's some England English player France Lavic Serbian Italy Yeah it's not nation based Man Ah oh, I will go for him I will go for him Fernando Torres when I was, I was out, man, for like three days. <laughs> and they pulled me back in with this card. Stupid card. Stupid Konami. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, nothing much anymore. Uh, we have the, the events there. So you need to use the full national team. I think for this one, we'll play with Malaysian team. Alright. Oh no, I do not want. Oh yeah. So for this one, I have to switch to the Malaysia team. Right. Uh, so the limits, they're base strength 2151. So collective strength, my collective strength is 286. So yeah, you can play with this team. All right, man. Ah, <laughs> Torres, should I go for him or not? <laughs> How many spins do I need to get Torres, man? Any of you guys want to treat me? <laughs> All right, yeah, I hope you guys, uh, can get to know some of the new things in this uh, game. I hope you guys uh, can have fun with this new game. <laughs> uh, I think it's version two point two is decent. Uh, I think I'll I will play again. I think I will play again. I think I will play again. Torres is here, right? And the game is decent now. <laughs> no more two point one. Yeah. I hope you guys find this video useful. And with that I'll see you guys in the next one.